Um, how do you know all this yes. while being a math major? Because um, we've had yeah. people that have four-year CS degrees that don't know FizzBuzz, and now you know like advanced operating systems as a math major. The following is a call I had with a student who's working towards his bachelor's in mathematics. He wants to break into quant dev and has asked me for my advice. Surprisingly, he answers a lot of the questions better than his CS major counterparts, which for his age is actually quite impressive. Have a look. Do you think that like I'm ready to like go for a like quant dev internship or like will they not like even consider me because like, I don't have that much knowledge about the field. Yeah, you have like one course. That's the way, that's not enough. You're going to be competing yeah. against CS grads. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's definitely not enough. Um, how, how, on a scale from one to 10, where five is average for your, for your, your age and your level, and 10 is mm -hmm. you're a god for your level, and one is you're horrible, where would you rank yourself? Uh, like in what? C++. Um, I would say like a seven. Okay. What version of C++ do you use? Um, I think a 14. Okay, if you have to like, think about it, you're not a seven. Okay. Um, so you're set 14, right? Yeah, 14, 17, I think. What's up? Can you name me one feature that... Wait, 14, 17, you think? Which one? Um, Can you check? Do you know how to check? Like right now? Yeah. Um, no, I don't know how okay. to check. Um, so w let's start with 14. Okay. Because that's, I guess, the earliest one. What feat What? What's one feature that was introduced in 14? Okay, I don't know like, like what what features like were introduced in what, uh, like versions. Right. The only reason I bring it up is because this is a type of question you might get asked, right? Okay. I don't bring it up just for fun. So it's like I, I'm trying to help you understand the sort of questions you might need to expect. Um, okay. Do you know what a smart pointer is? Yeah, I do know what a smart pointer is. What is it? A uh, smart pointer is like a wrapper around your pointer that manages uh, the deletion of your pointer. So you don't have to manually call delete okay. when you allocate a pointer. Okay. And um, what are the three types of shared pointers? Um, Sorry, I see three types of smart pointers. Yeah, I guess a shared pointer, mm -hmm. a unique pointer, um, and, and weak pointer. And weak pointer, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the difference between a shared pointer and unique pointer? Uh, I guess uh, the shared pointer, uh, you can copy and like internally it stores like a counter of how many copies are made. And whenever the counter goes to zero, it deletes itself. Okay. Uh, and a unique pointer is something that you can copy or uh, only one unique pointer is allowed to exist at a time. Okay. Can, uh, a, and it, sorry? can a shared pointer be copied? Yeah, a shared pointer can be copied. Can a unique pointer be copied? No, you can like a call move on the unique pointer, but you can't uh, perform a copy operation on it. Okay. What's, what's the purpose of a weak pointer? Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of like a uh, I think it's used with shared pointer mm -hmm. and it's it performs all the same things as shared pointer but it doesn't like increment the copy uh, like the counter of the shared pointer okay what sort of problem there's a there's a very specific word for the problem that it solves um it starts with a c c um, uh, I don't know. A uh, circular reference. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, I think that's actually a better answer than ninety percent of people that have like. That I would expect. So good, good, good for you. Um. What's the difference between a vector and an array? Oh, uh, vector is a dynamically managed array, and a vector is um. 
uh, usually stored in uh, dynamic memory and array stored in the stack. Okay. Um, what happens if the array that you allocate is too big? Um, if it's too big? Yeah. Um, what do you mean by, like, if I just, like, make a big array? What do yeah, like a very big array. Like uh, an array with a million ints. Or not even okay, a million so, ints, a billion ints. So, I guess, like, it will take a lot of memory on the stack and maybe, like, slow down the system or something. Yeah, it'll crash the system. Okay. How much memory is allocated on the stack? Oh, for what? On the stack, how much memory? The, the stack is limited space. How much memory? Oh, okay. I, I don't know. Okay. Can you guess? Is it 10 bytes? Is it 100 bytes? Is it 1,000 kilobytes? Oh. Is it 1,000 megabytes? Is it a gigabyte? Maybe like 124 bytes. The stack is 124 bytes? Yeah. No, it's around 4 megs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is more operating system, so I don't really expect you to get it. Okay. But this is also concepts, questions you're going to need to know. Okay. Um, so what what's your familiarity with networking concepts? No, I don't know anything about networking. Okay, you're going to need to study that big time. Okay. And what about databases? No. Can you give me a... Have you heard of databases in the past? Um, like, do you mean by, like, MySQL and... Yeah. Yeah, I think I've like uh, worked with MySQL before. Okay. So I know uh, some things about it. Okay. But I've not taken like a course or like studied it extensively. Okay. And um, let's talk a bit more about C++. What's the size of a vector? How big is a vector? Um, because you could like change its size dynamically. Like, it depends on the size of the heap. Um, I would say that's a good wrong answer. Okay. Because at least it seems like you kind of thought through it, but you're not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. Um, So if I do, you, do you know what the size of operator is? Yeah. Does it return, um, does it return the amount of bits or the amount of bytes? It returns um, the amount of bytes. Right. So if I do size off on a vector, what do you think I'll get? An empty vector. Um, maybe something like 8 bytes because the vector needs some metadata to store like extra information. Sure. Why, so 8 bytes, where, where does that 8 bytes made up of? Let's just say it is 8 bytes for the sake of this example. Um, I guess... Um, it's uh, maybe it's storing the size of the current size of the vector and like pointers. Maybe. Okay, so those are two things. There's a third thing. Can you guess? Uh, um, uh, I don't know. That's okay. Um, it also stores capacity. Okay. Um, how big, how big is a pointer? Um, a pointer is eight bytes. Okay. Eight or four bytes. Okay. When was it, when would it be four? When would it be eight? Uh, no, I, I was like between eight or four point. It can only be like one size because all pointers are the same size. Yeah. But you said between four and eight. So when would it be? When would it be four? Uh, oh no, I was like confused between four or eight bytes. Okay. It can be like between the two of them. Okay, but when would it be four? Because you said it can either be four or eight, so when would it be four? Uh, I don't know. So I, I think you were reading chat. Oh, what? Were you reading chat? No, no, I was not reading chat. Okay, because somebody said four or eight. Oh, okay. Um, but like, I just don't understand where you got four or eight if you don't know when it would be four or eight. 
Oh no, I was just like. Are you saying but between? Like, yeah, I was just confused if, if it was four or eight. Oh, bytes. okay. Sorry, I, I, because there is cases where it can be four. There is cases where it can oh, be okay. eight. That's why I was confused. I wasn't sure like what you were getting at. Okay. It depends on the operating system architecture. So, oh, sixty-four okay. bit, eight bytes, you know, thirty-two bit, four bytes. Um. Okay. What's what's the stack and what's the heap? Um. Uh, stack is the m memory that's allocated during like compile time and heap is the memory that's dynamically allocated and like it's um, allocated during the runtime okay what's the why is the which one's faster stack or heap i would guess that stack is faster why um because like um I guess because you don't need to like call like new to allocate the memory. Why is new? Why is Every new time. slow? Uh, because like you're searching the heap for available memory and trying to allocate that. So yeah, that's right. Um, and why would stack be fast? Um, because uh, you can just slot the memory in the order you're, that you're going. Right. There's just a. It's just a the stack pointer just increments. It knows the type knows the type of every object on the stack. Okay. And it can just increment by the size of that type. Yeah. Um, how do you know all this it's, while being a math major? Um, Cause we've had yeah. people that have four year CS degrees that don't know FizzBuzz, And now, you know, like advanced operating systems as a math major. Oh, I don't, I was like mostly guessing these answers. You're mostly guessing all this. Yeah, like um, I started learning about like C++ from like a four months before. Okay. And like I really enjoyed the language and like I also like started getting into competitive programming and like that's when I like found your channel. Okay. And like I, I really got interested in like going into this like quantum field. Well, listen, I think based off what you know at your current level, Okay. I would say that you have a promising chance. Okay. Yeah. Like, um, even so, if... so what you need to improve on is you need to focus on your networking, your operating systems, get better at C++. And I'm not, not saying you're bad. You're pretty good for the amount of time you've been spending. Um, okay. And then I would also say middleware databases. So middleware like gRPC, server client architecture, distributed systems, and computer architecture. Get Do those courses mm -hmm. while you have your math major. I can guarantee you you'll probably get a decent internship. Okay. Um, and like I was uh, saying at the start, like about my specific question. Yeah. Like, what uh, do you think that, like, based on my current knowledge, that I should apply for internships? Like, do you think that I will be able to get quant dev internships? Well, yeah. If you keep if you keep going and you do a good job, yeah. Okay, so I should. Um, like just for any other type of internship, like what type of internship should I apply for? Um, anything that's a software engineering and quantitative development effectively, I think you can do a good job with C++. So okay. working at as a Jew, as an intern, um, yeah.